Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Joshino, and today we're going to be talking about Paladin's Battlegrounds solo mode. Literally just a few hours ago, the servers suddenly switched from a quad mode, the squad mode, to the solo mode. And, well, I've been trying it out, and at HRX the devs sounded a bit unsure whether they were going to go with a solo mode or just keep it quad. And, well, now it's here for testing. As always, everything is very early days. Lots of things are sure to change, and this mode may never even see the light of day. But I too was very skeptical about a solo mode working, because I said maybe they should just have one champion, maybe they should have just a certain class, but actually, when playing it now, you can sort of make most things work in the game. And as long as you get cards to do so, especially because all champions get four legendary cards possible to pick up, and those legendary cards often give you range, they give you healing, and they give you damage on pretty much everything, so it kind of levels all the characters out. There was actually a Fernando going around wrecking in one of the games. Well, it was unbelievable, but it just showed how powerful tanks generally seem to be quite good because they've got a lot of self-sustain, a lot of health, and I mean, most of them have quite a bit of damage too, whereas I thought maybe they'd struggle. So far, I've only got to second because Vox, yeah, that Vox, he took my first place. <laughs> Sneaking up on me after a fight with a Victor, which will be in the gameplay that is currently playing out. It was annoying. Finished off a Victor, and I stupidly went to loot him. And then obviously Vox was in wait, invisible as the sky, and popped out on me. And Well, with two legendary cards, I think it was the surprise attack, and the one with the damage on the smoke bomb, so it kind of shredded me, and I was down to like a third of my health as the first shot was fired, pretty much. It is hard at the moment to tell how this is going to play out. I did find it a little bit tedious to try and find people. There were quite a lot of times where there was a break, and in Fortnite, and not so much player known Battlegrounds, which does have a lot of these times where you don't see anyone. It's kind of annoying. I, I know that also there were only about 60 players at the start, so it wasn't the full 100. Maybe you'll be a bit more popping and active when it goes live, or even perhaps in the daytime because it's getting quite late and I was playing on the EU servers. I do think it's self-regulating because once you come to your character selection, everyone has that pool of characters, so if there is a character that is particularly better than all the other ones on there, well, everyone can pick that. There are only It's only themselves not picking that certain character that is going to hold them back. Obviously, that isn't true with new players, seeing as they don't get all the champions unlocked straight away and some champions might be better than other ones. And I'm gonna talk about the looting system currently and the monetization tomorrow, I think. As it's quite a big topic, and I mean, for the PTS, it doesn't really matter because you've got unlimited currency and everything like that, and you can just lock everything instantly. But it's quite a big deal about the card system at the moment. But I'll talk about that tomorrow. Currently, one of the big issues, and actually happens in this match that I'm playing at the moment, is teaming up. And this was, in the early days of H1Z1, I don't know whether it really happened in PUBG, but enemies teaming up together in the solo mode is so is annoying. And there's currently isn't any countermeasures because there's not really a full framework for reporting. But hopefully, once reporting gets put into this game, it could be very easy to ban people that play together because it's pretty obvious when they do. So on my this time around, I was watching an Androx. Two Androxes come up. They went to one of the legendary chests, and both were just looking at each other. I was like, well. That's a group. And in this footage, I actually take them both on and sort of win. I mean, I knock down one, they knock down me, I run away and come back and take them out one by one, which is quite ridiculous. But that is a big problem at the moment and annoying that people are doing that on the PTS. I mean, come on, guys. What's the point? But hey, that's another kink that they can iron out. And there's been some silly moments with mutually assured destruction, because if you hit with projectiles, theoretically you could fire at the same time, and they've got travel time, so you could both chicken each other. And ultimates as well, you can chicken somebody after you die. And actually, if you chicken them after you've been chickened, you have the upper hand, because you can just chase after them and kill them after you get up, because you're gonna get up first. You might ha you'll have a split second to take them out as a chicken. There were some annoyances with kill stealing, so you can finish off a chicken and take the bonus damage, basically. Every time you get a, an, an elimination, while well, it's a kill in solo, you get 2% HP and damage amp. And an enemy can just, like, especially a good victor or something, if you're a pip and you're taking somebody out, it's kind of a bit more difficult to try and finish them off. But if an enemy victor comes in, even if they're like on one health, they just go ping, ping, ping. Well, I've taken your bonus damage. And even if you're going to kill that victor because they're not that good, then, well, you've only got the bonus damage from the victor, which is kind of a downside. That's something else that might need to be looked into. Maybe just give the elimination to everybody involved. Anyway, be sure to let me know in the comment section below what you think of this mode and if you will be playing it and if you're going to be picking up the PTS. 
And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe for more of my content, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Joshino.